Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 59th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about array of pointers. Now just as you can have an array of floats, an array of integers, an array of characters, you can also have an array of pointers, right? So we're going to make a very simple C program and uh, we're going to display the 12 months in an year on screen and uh, we're going to check out the syntax of an array of pointers and you know, we're going to see how we can display all those uh, string names using an array of pointers. So as you can see using code blocks, I have uh, saved a file. I've given it the name array of pointers.c. On line one in this file, I have the stdio.h header file. On line two, I have the main function. And uh, then between the curly braces for the main function, I have some code. So firstly, to declare an array of uh, pointers, you have to first specify the data type of uh, the individual pointers within the array of pointers right so uh, since all these uh, values that are there between the curly braces for the uh, array of pointers are string values and strings are made of characters and you can think of a string as an array of characters right so the data type of these individual strings is char right so that's why you have to type in the keyword char here and then to declare an array of pointers you have to first put the asterisk symbol then give your pointer variable some name. So in this case, I've called it PTR. And then you have to type in a pair of square brackets, but you don't have to type anything within, right? So if you're sure how many pointers are going to be there in your pointer array, then you can specify a number here. But uh, on most occasions, you would want to leave the square brackets empty. And then between the curly braces, you have to define the individual pointers. So if you have to create an array of pointers that point to integer variables instead, then you would have to specify the pointers here right and uh, then after listing all the month names within double quotations uh, within pair of double quotation marks i have uh, the closing curly brace for the array of pointers initialization statement on line number 11 and i have a semicolon that uh, succeeds that so you know this entire statement from line number 4 to line number 11 happens uh, to be one c statement and initializes my array of pointers right on line number 12 i have declared an integer variable called i and uh, on line 13 i have a for statement that's going to use i as the control variable so the initial value of i is zero right and uh, there are in total 12 pointers in this array of pointers and we want to access each one of them so i is going to loop from 0 to 11 right so it's going to loop 12 times and uh, then within the curly braces for the for loop, I have just one printf statement that I'm going to use to display all these string names. So firstly, I'm going to display the word month, and then that's going to be followed by the month number, right? And since the value of i in the first iteration is zero, and I would want to display one here because the first month is month one, I have added the value one to i before printing it on screen, right? So this percentage D format specify here that you see in the printf statement is going to be replaced by i plus one. And then to display the string values, I have to use the percent %s format specifier. Now, I don't think uh, we've discussed percentage %s uh, in this course, but if you have to print string values, then you have to use it within printf, right? So uh, I've used it here. And then this percent %s format specifier is going to be replaced by the value that's uh, you know obtained using this right so ptr is an array of pointers and uh, when you pass the index 0 to it you get the pointer that uh, currently uh, has the zeroth memory location in the array of pointers right so uh, we are going to be at january here and since we are using the percent s format specifier the entire string is going to get printed in the next iteration, I would be incremented to one. So we would get the pointer that points to the second element in the array of pointers PTR, and that is February. So that's why February would get displayed and so on and so forth. We would get all month names on screen. So let me run the program for you guys and show you guys the output. And there you go. In the output window, we see that month one is January, month two is February, month three is March, so on and so forth till month 12 is December. So that's it for now. In this tutorial, I wanted to discuss array of pointers with you and I hope you guys uh, had fun watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting and important for sure. So please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and I'll see you soon.